Welcome fellas, in front of you is a modified version of the latest Parkside Performance Impact Driver, the B3 model. I'm pretty sure you have seen lots of modification videos on YouTube about this model and its predecessor. However, this modification here looks really neat and professional. There's even a Parkside inscription on the bushing here. And if I didn't know any better, I would say it's factory made. That's why in the description below the video I will leave some information on how to contact the person who made this modification if you have some questions. The idea of this video is to verify whether the impact driver with modified anvil will deliver more torque. The torque meter over here is measuring the instantaneous or the dynamic torque. That's quite different from the working torque given by the manufacturer but nonetheless it will show if there's any difference. 226 newton meters, rotation is right. Second run, again 226, about the same, and a third run. The modified version 226, same adapter, direction is right. And from the first run, we lost the magnet inside. Second run. Again, same settings. And the remaining parts of the magnet. Third run, again, same settings. Of course, all of us want to see whether we are losing torque using an adapter 226 direction of rotation right yeah it seems that we are losing about 15 newton meters second run again 226 One final run without the adapter. Let's do some practical testing. 226 Newton meters. I would say about the same second run
The two machines are performing absolutely the same. Enough with the tests, I think they are more than indicative. Some of you might be disappointed, but the only positive thing for modifying your impact driver with such an arm view is that you won't lose torque when using an adapter. If you use it as a normal impact driver with hex bits, it won't make any difference. Well, nothing more to say. If you'd like the video, thumbs up and subscribe. See you next time, guys.